I got my peaches out in Georgia. Oh, that's it. Na, 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 na. Oh, that's it. Guys, what is going on? I've got a tutorial for you. It's about uh, using a front end library that has been taking the streets, taking things by storm. Taking things by storm, folks. Shad CN. Shad CN. So uh, you can go ahead and find it by Googling. Shad uh, CN should pop up. This is the library. On the left here, I just have a Next.js project. Um, guys, I'm going to run through this tutorial a little bit quick on how to use it. I was, I was playing around with it earlier. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's grown on me. It's grown on me. So um, I'm going to press get started. On the left again, I just have a brand new uh, Next.js application. So on here, I'll say boom, Next.js for installation. Step one, create the project the next.js application we've already gone ahead and created a next.js application um and um it's okay if if you uh how do i say this if if you um have different settings that's not the end of the world these are the settings that i typically go with uh typescript yes eslint yes tailwind yes source directory no app router no and um the import alias no or excuse me app router yes um, so that's how, that's how I do it, uh, typically. And if you've, uh, built a, sh um, excuse me, not a shad uh, application, but a Next.js application, you should be able to get here, right? NPM run dev, fire it up, boom. We just have our server up and running. So, um, that's just step one. Just initialize your, your Next.js application. So that'll be your MPX create next app latest dot slash command and then after it's done npm run dev fire this thing up boom let's hop into shad cn so i'm going to copy this command down um, i'm using npm so i'll click that one gives us a little check mark we know we're using the right one um, i can open a terminal or i can close this terminal either or or cut off that server and what this will do is npx shad cn ui at latest init it's going to fire open um, a components directory and maybe one of our first components. Let's see. So TypeScript, I'm going to say yes. Uh, default, that's fine. Um, I'll pick the, the gray one. Try it out. Globals.css, that is where my globals file is located in the app um, directory in the globals.css uh, directory. You may have, have it in the, the source folder potentially. So let me click this, boom. Uh, would you like to use CSS variables for colors? Sure, why not? Uh, Tailwind config, that is where it is. And configure and import alias for components. And it'll, it'll make a components folder for us. Configure a alias for utils, that's fine. Are you using React server components? We are, um, right? Configure, basically, yes, yes, yes. Just enter, 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 enter for all of that. And we should see that components folder pop open here. This is where our shad CN components will be. So um, nothing's changed. All we need to do is just run dev one more time. And we should see that this color and configuration should be updated if we've done things correctly. So let's uh, refresh the server. Let's see if we've done it correctly. It looks like we have, we could tell because it's a different uh, color scheme. So if you've if you've got this far, you've, you've done amazing. Um, if not, maybe just run through the documentation here on Shad CN. Um, and what we do now is we, we just pull in components as we need them. We just pull in components as we need them. So let's review some components in Shad CN. I will go to the right side and here's all of our components that we can kind of choose from. We have some accordions, um, which look like this. They give you a little demo on the right. We have some badges that look like that kind of. You can highlight over, you get a checkbox. Uh, maybe a data table. Maybe we can mess around with that. Um, we got a date picker. Um, that's pretty cool. So um, yeah, let's let's fire it open. Let's uh, let's see what we can do just to initially uh, mess with with Shad CN a little bit. So uh, if if I like this input component, for instance, I will go down here to the CLI and it says MPX Shad CN UI latest add input. What I do, I just grab the um, npm package that I'm using or just copy this in and let me cancel the server or crash the server paste in that command and if I go to my components library it should add it boom and there it is so this is this component right here and now that we have this um, application 
this Next.js application, I want to add that input component into this application. So let's go to the page and just initialize the application. What I always do, just close the main and I'll just open up a div and say here. So it should delete all this. We just deleted everything here. Let me refresh it. Um, oh, our server's down. So open up terminal, run dev, close terminal and boom. Fire that thing back up. I'll get rid of the image import. And here is that here statement. So one thing I'll do in my div, what I always do with full flex justify center, item center and flex dash call as well, men height screen. That is my command for majority of my layouts, at least just to initially get everything centered and stacking on top of each other. So I really like that input component. What I will do now um, is come to the top of the screen and say, import it actually tells you how to use it here as well you can import from dot from the at components the ui um, component right here and then use that input as you need it so boom there it is and it's that easy and we should see that input component right here so boom um it's really big obviously so one way to negate that is wrap it with a div and that should we can faintly see it on this white screen. Let me get a, a different background. Maybe we'll go background. Um, we'll say slate, uh, excuse me, BG slate, um, 900. That's fine. So now we can see that component right here. There it is. And let's see, let's see what else we could do. So there's other examples. Here's the input. Here's the code. Uh, looks like we can have a type email and placeholder with that so that's some stuff we could put in there so email type right there boom and placeholder email uh let's see what else we could do let's see what else we could do there's a there's a label for it looks like we can make it a type file so kind of want to try that out see what see what that looks like so click file click on it no file chosen it opens up to your file list where you could select files and upload stuff okay i'll put it back to email that's awesome that is really awesome. So the one thing I do want to get to is the um, the themes and see how to how to mess with the colors a little bit more. But it's really awesome, guys. So if 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 you want to um, pop in another thing like like a button under this, let's just temporarily build out a little form. So we'll say type email, and we could say flex flex call and gap dash y dash four. So maybe we'll have email and then we'll have maybe password, <clears throat> right? Something like this. And then we probably want a button to go with this little form. So I can go to ShadCN right here, pull in their button, MPX, uh, ShadCN UI at latest, add button. Let me crash the server or you can open up a new server right alongside it. And while it's installing that, I'll just go ahead and run dev so it knows to fire off that command next or it should have. Um, but we do have that button now. So that button is now part of our components library. That's simple. That's simple. We literally just pop it in just like that. So, um, and then when I want to use it in the page that I want to use it, I just import the button like this, boom, and use it as I need it. So I'll go ahead and pop that in right there. And we should see it here. Just refresh the page and boom, button. So that is awesome. That is awesome. And maybe this would be submit or something. Guys, I'm going to make this a bit of a darker background or some, something a little bit better. I think cement is a color. Is it? Is it not? Okay. Um, we could say background gray 110. Just a little off, off gray color. A little cool color there. So... Yeah, no, it's it's fantastic though. There's there's so much you can do. Button as a child, I guess. Maybe that would be. Um, oh, looks like we need to import the link. Import button variants. Is this is this the next link? I believe it's not. Yeah, I think this is just the link from next. Um, and not uh, not Shad CN. So, but this is not. This is the one part of it, which is how easy the the um 
what's it called how easy the these components are to to pull in maybe this would be sign up right maybe this would be log in so boom now we got a form with two buttons obviously we don't have a sign up page involved but we just built a form that quickly so uh let's say what's a good color i could do let's say gray 100 and let's say 40. can't really see it too well boom there it is okay so let me get this background gray off of there just wanted kind of an off-white color so f5 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 that should be off-white enough for us um but yeah so so it's it's really powerful it's like it, that took all of two seconds to build a little bit of a form um at least the template structure for a form and it's just it's just amazing they have they have all this other stuff you want an accordion Boom, here it is. Just go to here, MPX uh, Shad CN. Let's pop it in. And it tells you how to use it right under this. So this is everything we need to import right here. Import all this and here's how you use it. Right there. So maybe I could put it um, below or above. But such a powerful system, right? So we should see it now. And if you want more items in the accordion, you, you can copy down the accordion item and add more. But let's before before popping off, I, I just wanted to show how easy it is to, you know, go through this and get a checkbox, a card, a calendar. I mean, so many, so many just grab components you can easily grab. Is it accessible, right? Boom. So um, maybe this is your product. Uh, I have no idea what, what people might might want it for but I can add another item here and say how do I pay or something you can pay in our stripe secure checkout boom just it's so cool you know boom click it just like that here's here's your accordion working fantastically so it's it's just grab and go grab and go you know you could build a, a template pretty quick i think a dialogue that is awesome i i wonder is is this a pop-up is this is this a modal right here let's let's give it a go let's try it out folks so i'll just install the modal the add dialogue go to the top right here import this and looks like this is the dialogue let me pull it all in and I'll, I'll put it above our, our form. And I'll say, want to know more, question mark. Let's rerun the server. Oh, I hit get graph, didn't mean to do that. But guys, it's just a fantastic library. So after this one, let's, let's try to poke around and see if we can mess with the CSS and the cover, colors real quick. But it is, it is just fantastic how quickly you can build just really, really solid front end. So, um, obviously, I, I, I'm a, a very, very solid front-end developer, so um, I can I can build this stuff no problem as well, um, and, and certainly add my own flavor on top of stuff. If 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 I could pull up Team Sinker for a moment, this is this is my um, front-end work. Let me show you guys this. So, boom, little modals up here. I don't know how well the screen capture will show that reflection and stuff. Um, you know, with shiny buttons and, and this this guy and weird gradients in the background or smooth gradients in the background, loaders, of course. Um, I, I thought about making a component library myself. I, th I think it would be pretty, pretty awesome. But but um, to have it as, as UX, as DX friendly, excuse me, developer friendly, as um, as those guys have made it is is phenomenal. That That is just incredible. You literally just drag and drop um, into whatever you want to, wow. And that's a, that's a good model too. That is a very, very good model. So I'm actually going to use this model in, in that project. hundred percent, hundred percent. It's very beautiful. It's got good shading. It looks awesome. So, um, yeah, guys, very, very powerful library. And, and you could see how easy and quick that was. We're what, 15 minutes in and, and we literally have a pretty solid form that you can link up everything you need. Um, 
you know, with uh, pop-up modals. So that is po pretty powerful. There is one more thing that I, I might want to do a part two on. Um, well, let's let's uh, let's let's think about it, right? I, I want to show you guys. There, there's a way to check to switch the color theme really quick. I, I hadn't looked into it, <clears throat> but you can check or, or change the color theme really, really, really fast. So I think I think it's something to do with this, where you can change the dark and and um, use other themes pretty pretty effectively. So I don't know. Let's uh, maybe maybe figure it out how to use Shad CN real quick. Documentation. Figure it out together. Here's all of our components. We've obviously ran through that theming. Boom. So let's see. Looks like CSS variables. Hmm. Guys, I don't, I don't want to drag it out too long. I, I might I might end up doing that if, if I run through all these documents. It might take me about 20 or 30 minutes. But um, yeah, you know, let's uh, let me circle back and do it do a do a part two. But I just wanted to show you how how easy peasy it is. You know, like the other day I was building building for a calendar component. Um, and boom, I wish, I wish I had known it would have been this easy. Just go NPM like this, open up a new terminal if you want, pop it in. Oops. Uh, should still work. Pop it in just like that. And then wherever I need it, just go ahead and go to the file I need it in and pop in the calendar component and use it just like this. Oh, it looks like there's some date setting that I need to do some state with but just amazing just amazing so let me pull in this use state real quick looks like you need your use state variables for some of these but um that should fix it oh i need to import react okay or import use state if you're you're familiar with hooks many people are um as as many are excuse me um that should be up and running so why Use the, oh, it only works in use client. So need to go to the top of the file, type in use client, and that should fire off. And there's our calendar component. So just amazing, just amazing. And then obviously, if you want to see that date on screen, let's see, boom. So let's see if that'll work. Will that work as a piece of data? As date. Maybe it will. Maybe I could show it on as on uh, screen here. Let's just uh, redeclare this this type as any real quick. Just I, I just want to see how how good this date picker is. If it, if it literally gives you a, a data piece of date, right? So uh, I'll see date data right here. React child. Oh, you know what? It, it might need it to be a date or something for its. So we'll just steal that same type and see see if it if that works right. React child, um, hmm, not really liking it. It's not really liking it. Well, let me console log this date and see what it comes up with at the very least. But oh no, did that twice. So new date. Okay, it comes in as a um, uh, what is that? The I forget the date time that's called, but. But that's awesome. That is fantastic. So it gives you your month, gives you your date, and and uh, looks like it's at midnight at night. So just fantastic. So so you don't have to do all these like hard. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know about you guys if you've ever like tried to build build a calendar and stuff. It's just it's so much work, so much, and that took all of all of no seconds at all. So super curious on how to build these tables and stuff. I wonder if that's really easy. Um, because my, I, I do enjoy the way I build tables personally. I'll, I'll show you guys how I build tables versus how many are out there. It's, it's looking like it's not so fun building it. To, yeah. So this is how I've seen a lot of people build tables. I, I don't like it this way, um, personally. So I'm actually not going to, not going to do that one. I would, I would prefer the way I do it. So the way I build tables, um, well, actually I'll, I'll leave that for another video. I will definitely be using it more. So. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Cheers.